Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over alchemy procs. Let us begin. So in regards to alchemy, it is a great profession in order to make additional gold each and every day. This can be done by just basic crafting and restocking on the auction house, which you can find on my TSM profile, which you can restock with, which is also on the Patreon. But aside from all of that, you'll be wanting to make good use of your procs. Now these only work for crafts from vanilla all the way over to Mr. Pandaria. However, you can learn these from your capital city if you go towards the alchemy trainer in either Stormwind or Orgrimmar. The alchemy trainer should, if you have 300 in your classic vanilla alchemy, will give you a quest to get your alchemy procs. Now, these alchemy procs give an average of around about 15%. I did a video a while back where I crafted a bunch just to confirm this for myself. And yeah, I made quite a lot of gold on those Vile of the Sands. However, the Transmutation Master is my prize pick. Now, if we have a look at that, it allows the alchemist to sometimes get greater results when transmuting materials. This means whenever I do a transmute, I get a 15% chance of gaining extra materials. This varies from either an extra one item from one craft or an extra five from one craft. It really does depend on the volume that you're actually doing it. Now the thing that I find people slip up on is it is mainly volume based because it's done off of a percentage proc. So you need to create a lot of these in order to pull in a decent profit. So let's go over different types of ones. Now you've got your elixirs and all that stuff. When it comes towards your elixir master, I would highly recommend just crafting the stuff, the flask of titanic strength and the flask of winds or flask of the winds for the Vial of the Sands. Those ones are bog standard, and if you wanna make some additional gold, you can do that and post them on the auction house. When it comes towards potions and old world potions, having a potion master that's all maxed out from vanilla all the way over to mop is very lucrative, actually. As I craft my potions pretty much on the daily for old world classic potions, and I use my potion master predominantly for that, and it works out like a charm, because rarely anyone does that. However, with the Auction House merge and all the materials have dropped, Transmutation Master has been pretty good and loving to me. And thus, I've been making good use of the ones for Titanium Bars, Arcanite Bars, and True Gold. This is because if we jump into our Alchemy and we jump all the way over towards, let's say, Arcanite Bars, Arcanite Bars, we can see that crafting it at the moment will give us a negative 32 gold. However, if we run this through with our Transmutation Master, this actually can balance out quite nicely. The same goes for the Titanium Bars, where at the moment it's creating five gold profit, so it actually would work out quite well for me. However, let's buy out a load of Serenite Bars for this Transmutation. And you can take this a step further and get Serenite Ore and smelt that if it's cheaper to craft it that way. However, if we just grab, for instance, 800 and we buy that for 10,000 gold. So we've got 10,000 gold spent for our titanium bars. We sell that lovely grizzled steak thing. And we then pick up that. So it's cost us around about 10, 10k gold in order to gain our materials. Now, if we go into here and then we craft with our titanium bars, but we also have the worth it recorder on, we can actually record what we're actually doing here. So if we run that and then start crafting with our transmutation master, we're going to see that we get one and we can see if we actually get any bonuses for crafting this. Now, it does take a little while. This is why volume works quite well in the grand scheme of things and when we actually get a proc, we get additional materials. We're going for roughly around about 100 bars to craft, and with the additional proc that we actually get along with this, we should be able to get, on average, we just got a proc of two, so we've just gained another titanium bar from that. However, this is basically spawning materials out of nothing for a, no extra cost. So if it's actually profitable cr to craft titanium bars, we're getting an additional titanium bar, we've just gotten one for free. 
that means that I can actually gain an extra 98 gold for basically doing a profitable craft and utilizing that proc for that. This goes for other different types of procs, such as the Oh, I got two more procs with that titanium bars. Oh, we got a five. We got a five titanium bars. <laughs> this is two, uh, two, two, five, two. So we've just gained a load more different types of items. However, we can use the Silas Sphere of Transmutation for the BFA crafted potions with the uh, Prosperity potion that you can actually get from this and craft that to gain extra procs as well. As a little side note, we gain another three bars from that and you, I think you can tell how this works out quite well. And we are done. And in five minutes for crafting all of those 100 different types of titanium bars from our Saranite bar transmute, using Transmutation Master we've gained an extra 24, which means that 24 times by 98 gold, give or take, is gonna give us an additional free 2,352 gold. And with the region-wide material market at the moment, things are selling like hot caves. I keep selling like stacks of 100 titanium bars at the moment for literally no time at all. And roughly 2,352 gold, that's nearly a 25% increase in what we've actually got. However, the average is 15%, just bear that one in mind. And now if I want to list that on the auction house, for the current rate, it's currently worth around about 12,274 gold. So we're going to make at least 2,274 gold profit. I think you can tell how this scales quite nicely for just a little bit of time crafting AFK while you go do something else. This is how I'm making a lot of gold at the moment is just by utilizing different types of procs with my professions. And more predominantly, not, not the one that's stayed tri the one that's stayed tried and true throughout expansion to expansion is this one. And it still works at the moment, even with the material market that's merged. I just find it when it's profitable, craft a bunch of it. And I mean, not just a hundred, I craft around about a thousand to 2000 to utilize that proc chance. And then I can see how much gold I'm actually gonna make, sell it all, make a decent profit and chuck it back on the auction house and re rinse and repeat as and when I run out of supply. Other than that guys, if you wanna find any more documentation on making gold and just upgrading your gold making in general, then please feel free to head over towards the Patreon where I actually have a guide on transmutation procs along with other different types of guides that can help you increase your gold making. Other than that, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm.